Well, I think the, the real basis start of that for me is um, teaching true biblical stewardship. I think there's a great opportunity there uh, in the world of business and in, in investment and in capital because uh, I mean, as I grew up, I was always just taught to tithe, right? And, and that's a, I think it's a good starting point, but for most of us, at least for a lot of my life, that was like the quintessential place to be, is right, to get to the tithe. Uh, but true stewardship says God owns my time, my talent, and my treasure, right? The treasure part is what we're talking about, the money side. So that has its implications in, in terms of investment dollars and venture capital. But I think the real opportunity is to nurture the young business owners or even the, the, the older ones that can be mentors into what does it look like to now integrate your, your faith and that stewardship model in terms of um, your business acumen, your knowledge base, your networks, right? All those things, your time in terms of giving it back. So we can start marrying these, um, these successful business people along with younger business people, right? And bring them along, starting them off in the stewardship mindset, right? Says, everything is the Lord's, right? So my business is the Lord's, right? All my assets, my resources, my everything, what would that do to unleash kingdom resources, right? That'd be phenomenal. Plus, it allows us to operate from a different mindset. Because normally, I think most of us as humans, myself included, we like to operate like this a lot of times, mine, right? And, and we see the, the natural effects of that when we look at children, right? Hold, clinging onto the toy of mine. And as parents, we can go, you know, you got to learn to share, right? But as adults, we actually carry that, that mindset, and I call it a poverty mindset, into adulthood of mine. And, and you know, you can only have a part of it or a piece of it or I'll share a little or, you know, I couldn't possibly give more because it might be irresponsible. Um, but the biblical stewardship model says abundance. I keep my hands open and everything is the Lord's, right? And so if I'm blessed to have a lot, and how do I learn how to be a good steward of that in terms of giving back a lot? And again, not just the money but of my time and of all of my resources, um, it allows us to operate in business and in life from a very uniquely different and, again, godly perspective. It also allows us to rescue ambition um, because I think sometimes, especially when we look at the, that segregation that you like to talk about a lot of times between church and business, Part of that comes from because ambition is bad, capitalism bad, you know, church mentality good, you know, uh, again, we take a lot of those things, but truly God created us with a sense of destiny and glory in our hearts and a, and a desire to make and to achieve and to accomplish, right? So then the question is, is who are we doing it for? Because if we're doing it unto the Lord, right, if we're doing it for his glory and we can utter that out of our mouth and, and claim Jesus Christ and all of our victories and all of our successes and again, turn it back over to him, then we're really, we're really starting to shake the gates, right? Versus that, again, mentality of, of poverty and of um, me and mine and, you know, what am I going to get out of it?